Hello everyone, and this is my review for WWE SmackDown on January 18th, 2013. And <clears throat> and going off to basically say right from the get-go, I felt uh, SmackDown was just an okay show this week. Uh, they definitely had some very good points into it, but some a lot of stuff that just seems like it's kind of there and not really having any good reason of being there. Mainly just the whole... Um, Mainly just the whole Great Khali deal. Um, he basically goes out there. He has a match with a random guy. I don't even know if they're trying to build him to have something bigger going around. Or if he's just there for the sake of being there at this point in time. Then, of course, they have him going out there with Natalia. So, it's, uh, at this point, it just seems like it's really there for random sake. And just to have a match, something to fill the time or something in that aspect. It's not really even that much of a comedy act at this point either. It's just kind of random match with uh, a guy who's not necessarily... He, he, I'm not saying he isn't popular. I'm just saying he's not necessarily that popular with the fans, especially in this country. But... <clears throat> Uh, that was the that was the main downturn to uh, to SmackDown. I was okay with the whole fiesta right at the beginning of the show, and it definitely is going to show um, with how quickly they changed Alberto Del Rio. Um, they're really trying to get him over as a face. You, you could te definitely tell that they're <clears throat> sorry. Had to clear my throat there. Uh, you could definitely tell that there, uh, with the changes that they made f from his mini Tron, the fact that he doesn't come out in a car anymore, uh, they they're trying they're trying to really get him over as a face, and they felt these are probably the best changes possible to do that. Which, in honesty, it probably is one of the better changes there because his uh, his former character was pretty much. Uh, you know, the aristocrat or uh, a JBL-esque character where um, he continually uh, downplays everybody. Uh, in this case, he's kind of trying to embrace the fans. He's trying to embrace other other people. You've seen how, he, uh, how differently he reacts to Ricardo Rodriguez now. You, know, you could definitely see the change. And I think they're good changes for them. They're really considering making him a face character for the long haul versus the short uh, a short period of time. So uh, I like the changes that I've seen with Alberto Del Rio. Uh, his, his tag team match with uh, Sheamus and uh, against Big Show and Dolph Ziggler uh, was actually a fairly entertaining match, fun to watch. Uh, and also I like the little tidbit during the Fiesta portion where Dolph Ziggler uh, again comes out and reminds him, you know, I have money in the bank. And I'm eventually going to cash it in. We'll, uh, we'll see if it's going to actually be with Alberto Del Rio or if it's going to be somewhere else down the line. But I don't know. The way that <clears throat> they've been building this stuff, I don't think uh, Dolph Ziggler is going to actually cash in until WrestleMania or sometime afterwards. At least that's in my own personal opinion and personal prediction to that. Uh, I could be completely wrong and they could do it before then. Uh, and yeah, uh, on that aspect, I guess go on to an, uh, I'll go on to another area. Um, another thing that kind of seemed a little bit random because they could, you know done this matchup already to kind of get Caitlyn's revenge on Oksana. They did it again this week. Of course, I, uh, of course, uh, Caitlyn ends out pretty much dominating the whole match. Also showing off that they had. Uh, showing off the new Divas champion. I like the little tidbit in the back with uh, Layla and Alicia Fox with Layla basically staring at the title for a very extended period of time. Maybe that could lead into a little storyline between the two of them. Uh, they definitely need another heel character. Maybe they can turn Layla heel again and maybe make things a little bit more interesting there. I, I think to the people that, uh, the few people that actually, uh, you know, care about the Divas division in any way, shape, or form, uh, would agree that Layla was a much more interesting character when she was a heel versus when she was a face. So we'll see if they go in that route uh, down in the, here in the near future. Um, the last thing I want to uh, go into about uh, SmackDown this week was the interaction and the promo that happened with The Shield and then the eventual promo with uh, Randy Orton and Sheamus. 
I really liked the uh, Shield promo. They basically reinserted why they were, uh, why they wanted to go after McFoley on Monday night, and reinserted why they were going after Randy Orton and uh, Randy Orton, Ryback, Sheamus, and all all that aspect. It was just a well delivered promo, in, at least in my mind. And I liked how. Uh, backstage, basically, you had Randy Orton and Sheamus kind of being themselves. You know, Sheamus isn't as serious, while Randy Orton's extremely serious about it. And of course, them talking in the aspects of the Royal Rumble as well. Will we be seeing the Shield inside the Royal Rumble? Where, <clears throat> or will it just be, uh, you know, all the normal superstars and maybe a run in by Shield or something in that aspect? Uh, we'll, that's something we'll have to wait and see what they're, where they decide to go with it. Uh, I definitely liked the uh, Shield promo in the end. I, there, there was good aspects to the SmackDown show this week. Uh, just not that many to really say that it was all that great of a show. And then again, uh, you know, because of the structure of the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, having the Royal Rumble match in there, especially with how long that match is, uh, you can't have as many storylines going into it. You kind of got to snip, uh, tidbit, uh, other storylines before the, uh, end of the paper, before the, uh, pay-per-view there. Uh, obviously they usually don't have as many matches either. You, you'll have the three matches with the tag team titles, the, uh, WWE title and the world title. They might add one more in there. They might just keep it at that and then the Royal Rumble match itself. Uh, so... Hopefully, hopefully in my mind, they'll, or hopefully for the pay-per-view, they will add one more match, depending on what kind of match they actually decide to add to it. But uh, honestly, I'm actually looking forward to the uh, Royal Rumble pay-per-view uh, this time around. Uh, then again, I am getting to go to uh, see it live. So hopefully it ends up being really good when, I, when we do see, uh, when we're in the crowd there as well. Um, but overall, SmackDown just came off okay. They didn't really put too much emphasis on the Royal Rumble match. They did do at least a good job with the whole, um, with uh, building Big Show and Alberto Del Rio going into the pay-per-view. But overall, it just came off as an okay show. And, yeah, that's my review for SmackDown this week. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed.